Pokemon Gold and Silver were just released for the eShop a few days ago, and everyone has been enjoying the dose of Gen 2 nostalgia. But if for whatever reason, you weren't able to join the rest of us on our new Gold and Silver journeys, don't worry and stay tuned, cause I'm going to be announcing a Gold and Silver giveaway in this video. And while we may be enjoying our Gen 2 journeys, Gen 2 didn't just consist of Gold and Silver. Crystal was a part of the group as well. So why is it that Crystal wasn't on the eShop? And will we be getting it in the future? Let's find out! What's going on guys? Hybridary here. I just downloaded Pokemon Silver and I'm incredibly excited to play it. But I without a doubt would have been a lot more excited to play Pokemon Crystal. And I'm sure most of you would have been more excited to play Crystal as well. Last year, Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow were all released in Japan at the same time. And Red, Blue, and Yellow were all released outside of Japan at the same time. So why didn't that happen this time around? And will we be getting Pokemon Crystal in the future? Before we go on, I just gotta say that this video does not confirm anything. It's simply me talking about my unscripted thoughts and ideas of why Crystal isn't on the eShop. And whether or not I think it will be released later on. So let me know if you enjoyed these type of videos. So, in regards to my first impressions as to why Pokemon Crystal wasn't on the eShop, I thought it was due to some technical difficulties. Mainly because of the Pokemon Mobile System GB. Now the Pokemon Mobile System GB was a system that was exclusive to the Japanese version of Pokemon Crystal. And it was essentially Wi-Fi back in 2001. The Pokemon Mobile System GB allowed you to connect your phone to the Game Boy Color and then through there you could download event Pokemon, you could get events, you could, I think you could even trade and battle online. And for 2001, this is, this is, this is phenomenal technology. Now this sounds good and all, but there's a reason why it was only exclusive to Japan. And that's because it didn't do well, like at all. So it was only exclusive to Japan because if it didn't do well in Japan, what's the point of bringing it to the other countries, right? So in my eyes, I think that if they did bring Pokemon Crystal to the eShop, the Japanese version is going to have some technical issues because it has a feature that's pretty much unusable and that's only exclusive to the Japanese version. And they're going to be trying to make Crystal as genuine or normal or as, a, as original as the Game Boy Color version was as possible, right? But they're going to have to address the Pokemon Mobile System GB, whether it's the Japanese version of the game or whether, whether it's the localized version of the game. They're going to have to either remove the, move the feature completely or upgrade it and bring it to the other versions of the game. Because if the Pokemon Mobile System GB did work and it was only exclusive to Japan, then Japan will be the only ones getting Celebi in Pokemon Crystal. And that's going to cause a lot of issues to fans worldwide. So if they are trying to bring uh, Pokemon Crystal over, they're definitely going to have to take the time to work on the Pokemon Mobile system. Now all this is coming from a technical standpoint. These are like the first thoughts that went into my mind when I found out that Pokemon Crystal wasn't coming to the eShop. But what about a business perspective? A business perspective sounds more likely because we all know that Nintendo just loves to milk that sweet money cow. So from a business standpoint, if you look at it back in the days when Gold, Silver and Crystal first came out, Gold and Silver were released before Crystal, and by doing that, they were able to disperse the sales between all three games. People that bought Gold and Silver bought Crystal, and I think as a total they sold like 30 million copies of all three games together, but let's say, let's say for instance they had uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal released at the same time, those numbers would have been cut drastically by a few million at the very least. And it's a good business strategy, right? They're gonna get more sales out of this. They're gonna get more sales for what's essentially just a, a slightly upgraded version of the same game, solely because they're releasing it at a different time. But they didn't do that with Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow when it came out on the eShop. Now, Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow had a total of 1.5 million downloads in only two months, right? I didn't. I can't find an individual sales report, and I, but I'm sure that if they were dispersed red and green from blue and from yellow in Japan, those games would have done phenomenally. They would. They would have done. Their sales would have been probably at like 2.5 million or something. And even for me, when red, blue, and yellow were re released, I only bought blue. I still haven't bought yellow. Still haven't bought red. And I, yellow was obviously a bit different, but but the reason why I didn't buy yellow was because it was released the same time 
that Pokemon Red and Blue were re released. So, so what I'm trying to say is, I'm I'm sure that if the games were dispersed, more people would be buying more copies of the other games. Now, for Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow, I'm sure the only reason why they uh, released all four at the same time was because Pokemon Yellow is like Pokemon Yellow's Pikachu edition, right? It's a game that tells more of the story of the anime. So it's it's completely different from Red, Green, and Blue. And then as for why Red, Green, and Blue were released all at the same time in Japan, I'm assuming it's because Red and Blue in all the other countries are Pokemon Blue version Japan, right? So they can't be releasing Red and Green for Japan and then Red and Blue for all the, all the other countries because all the other countries will be getting the better version of the game. So I'm assuming because of that, they just put all of them together. But as for Gold, Silver, and Crystal, Crystal is... Crystal is just an upgrade of Gold and Silver. It's it's the definite version out of the three games. The upgrades in that game make it so much better than Gold and Silver that if you had the option between the three, nine times out of ten, you'd probably pick Crystal. So with all that being said, I do think that Pokemon Crystal is coming out for the eShop just at a later time. And we'll get to when I think that date is in just a bit because I'm pretty sure I know when it's going to be. But to further prove my claim and many other people's claims that Pokemon Crystal is going to come out in the future, for the eShop, uh, there's been a data mine leak that shows a third game, I think in the eShop records, but there's, there's a leak that shows that there is a third title that's being hidden away and that goes alongside gold and silver. So this ha obviously has to be crystal. There's nothing else that it could be unless it's like, I don't know, Pokemon pinball or something, but no, but really with like without a doubt that has to be crystal. Now as for the Pokemon mobile system GB, I think it's going to be tweaked, just like how wire trading was tweaked to become wireless in these games. I think it's going to be tweaked to become something that's compatible with smartphones and something that's something that all versions of Pokemon Crystal will have. Now with this, I suspect that Pokemon Crystal will be able to trade and battle online with the Pokemon Mobile System GB because uh, they'd be sticking to their roots by tweaking the Pokemon Mobile System GB in this way. And we'd also be getting Gen 2 online. Like, how crazy would that be? People would actually love it. They'd buy this game. This would like, this could double the virtual console sales of the Gen 2 games. I, I can see, it'd be great. It'd be great. Can you imagine? Oh my God. Can you imagine playing Gen 2 online? Phenomenal. It'll, it's gonna be amazing. But that's just what I think. No expectations here. At the very least though, po the Pokemon Mobile System GB, if they do keep it in the Japanese version, they're definitely going to bring it to the other versions of the game. And that probably means that we'll all get a Celebi event in Pokemon Crystal through the Pokemon Mobile System GB. So I definitely think they're going to tweak it and bring it bring it to Pokemon Crystal. A worldwide Celebi event in Pokemon Crystal. This is what people have wanted for the longest time. And I'm hoping that's going to happen. As for the release date with these games, I think that this game is going to come out during the next Pokemon drought period. So y'all know when like, y'all know when there's a, there's like a generation gap where we have, where, where you know, the generation's about to end and then we have a gap of almost like pretty much nothing. I think in the middle of that drought, Pokemon Crystal will be released because that would make the most sense. That would make it so that, that would make it so that we have something to be busy with until generation eight. Because I remember in the last drought period, everyone was going like, there's this whole Pokemon like fatigue or like everyone just bored of no one was talking about Pokemon because it was that boring at the time because there's nothing to do there's nothing going on so if they did bring back an upgraded mobile system GB and Pokemon Crystal had online and everything and they just brought Pokemon Crystal people will be focused on that till they could bring out generation 8 so this is likely going to be in the middle of 2018 that's what I'm suspecting uh, the next Pokemon drought to happen, and that's when I'm suspecting uh, Pokemon Crystal to be released as well. So I think we're definitely getting Pokemon Crystal during the next Pokemon drought period, which I'm predicting to be the middle of 2018. And I think that we're going to be getting an upgraded Pokemon Mobile System GB that allows for online features and that allows for a worldwide Celebi event. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to hero punch that like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, Hit the dislike button. Let me know how you feel. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Do you think that Pokemon Crystal is coming back to the eShop? Why or why not? When do you think it's coming back? Let me hear you out. Share the video with a friend. 
And finally, subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all my content. And you definitely want to subscribe because that's the way you're going to enter the gold and silver giveaway. So, I did do a mini gold and silver giveaway earlier, uh, and two winners have been chosen. I messaged them and gave them their codes uh, for Pokemon Gold and Silver. The winners were Flint Grady, I believe. Ooh, let's focus. Flint Grady and uh, Noah Kakamo. They're both pretty happy. I'm very, I'm very glad that they are. I'm, I'm happy that I can make people happy, right? So I'm gonna be giving away more copies of Pokemon. Oh, I just missed my hair. I'm gonna be giving away more copies of Pokemon Gold and Silver. But before I get to the actual giveaway, there, I'm playing this good here. There are two people who I want to give Pokemon Gold and Silver to. Uh, there, these two, pe these two people are subscribers that they're, they're always there for me, right? So like, I'm sure most of you know, I'm very inconsistent with YouTube, but these two people have always been there. Like, they're always the f some of the first people there to support me, and so they constantly show their love and support. And those two people are Kai Reeves and Corin or Kamui, Prince of Fates. You guys both know who you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys give me. Like, much love to both of you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm just grateful for the support. But uh, I'm gonna give, be giving you guys, I'll best you guys on Twitter uh, or YouTube, whatever. Um, I'm gonna be giving both of you guys a copy of Pokemon Gold and Silver. And there are more people out there who uh, constantly show their support and everything. I'm definitely gonna be doing something for you guys. So be patient, I'll get to the rest of you guys as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, for this Gold and Silver giveaway, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be the around, around the same thing, actually. There's gonna be a link down below to a Gleam, uh, to a Gleam link. And all you gotta do to enter is subscribe. But um, there's gonna be more options for you to do, like more things for you guys to do, like share a video, like a video, all that good stuff. And uh, keep coming back to it. I'll be updating as the days go by. I'll be updating uh, uh, the, the ways you can enter. So there'll be more ways you can enter as the days go by. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Giveaways only last for two weeks. Two weeks from today. And then uh, if you don't have Twitter, okay, so there's gonna be an option. You're gonna get a, there's gonna be an option where you can get a bonus entry for uh, following me on Twitter. And then uh, I highly, 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 highly recommend you do that because uh, that's gonna be the easiest way for me to get into contact with you if you do win. Uh, but if you don't have Twitter and you don't want to and you don't want to make one, comment down below. Just leave a comment for something. It would, that's it'll be much easier for me to get to you. Um, but yeah, besides that, what else is there? I'm trying to think. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Halloween's coming up, so be sure to get your. Eh, eh. Forget the ghosts. Beware of me sweater. Literally brought it out here just for advertising sake because it's too hot to wear it. But uh, yeah, you can get your forget your ghost beware of me shirts, hoodies, long sleeve tees, and uh, stickers if you'd like. Link in the description down below. All right, <laughs> there are, there are four. There's gonna be four winners. Uh, I can get you guys either like any version you guys want, but I'm just gonna be giving away four copies. So there's gonna be four winners. Uh, you guys will each get one copy of one of the games, and then. No promises, right? But, but, if I find out there's like two people who uh, <laughs> were constantly showing support throughout the week and uh, throughout the two weeks and they're constantly showing their love and support, or maybe like, or maybe two people that have been con that already have been constantly showing their support, depending on, uh, depending on certain circumstances, I might be able to get you guys, I might be able to get two people a copy of uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver as well. So there's a there's potentially six winners, but for sure four winners, all right? All right, no promises though. Uh, that entire thing was a bit longer than I expected, but uh, much love to each and every single one of you. I appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, take care, Be best of luck on the giveaway. Hope you guys win, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? All right, take care, bye.